Hey guys, welcome to the Sunday episode of Let's Be Real. Today I want to talk to you on the subject called Remember the Plan. And so, um, uh oh, looks like I'm kind of losing my connection here. Uh, let's see, maybe if I move a little bit. Okay, I hope I don't lose the connection. I'm sitting outside, but anyway, so the subject today is Remember the Plan. And I just wanted to share a little bit about what some things that I've been going through. So I, um, hey bird, thanks for hopping on. So I, you know, the beginning of the year, a lot of us, you know, go on a fast or we try to, you know, go on a weight loss journey. And so I did a 44 day fast and um, the fast was very successful. I stayed on the plan. Um, I had specific things that I had, laid out for myself um i was following a pan a plan um through patricia king's ministries and it was very detailed and i was able to stay pretty organized throughout the plan and so it lasted for 44 days and i continued the plan for several months and i stayed on the plan probably through may and so i successfully lost about I don't know about 26 pounds um, during that program even though the fast had ended I kind of I continued on the plan and used those tools that I gained um, while I was following um, her program committing myself to the Lord but also being mindful of the things that I was eating making sure that I was exercising all of that good stuff right so um, a lot of people, I know you've heard about the COVID-15, a lot of people have been gaining weight um, because we've been home more and we've been, haven't had a lot to do and been eating. Well, that really didn't affect me um, pretty much. I was staying on plan um, through May. And you know, when May hit, after May was over with and the kids were out of school, I started deviating from the plan that I had set for myself. I would start treating myself with all these um, yummy vegan treats I was seeing online. I was like ordering everything. I had stuff coming to the house every week. <laughs> I'm sure some of y'all can relate. And so I have picked up a couple pounds, like about six pounds um, since uh, June. And I was like, Lord, like what is going on? Like I'm supposed to be decreasing my weight. And um, I just couldn't understand why I wasn't losing weight even you know I would try and um the Lord reminded me he was like you haven't remembered your plan like you've been eating whatever you wanted all the things that you said you weren't gonna do you know you start picking up those old habits again um you just allow you start compromising a little bit more and another thing that the Lord reminded me of is that when I was doing that program for the first 44 days, so I had some accountability. I had a couple of friends that was doing the same plan with me. And so if I have a bad, was having a bad day, I can reach out to them and say, look, you know, I'm struggling today and they would encourage me. And so we did this together. And so the Lord also reminded me that I no longer had that accountability that I had when I initially started my plan. And so, I don't know, this, um, it just really blessed me as I was just, you know, seeking the Lord. I was like, Lord, I want to get back on track. You know, I want to refocus. And he was like, you need to get back on plan. And then he made me think about, you know, there's so many scriptures in the Bible that talks about having a plan and trusting the Lord's plan rather than our own. So when we put ourselves into it and start doing, deviating from the plan or adding this and that, then we kind of get off track. And, you know, we can put on six pounds, 15 pounds, whatever the case might be. Your issue might not be a weight thing that you're trying to, to do. But um, I just want to hop on here. So if you um, are dealing with something and you're not seeing the results, I just want you to remember the plan. Remember, there's a plan that you have set out. If you are going and headed in the right direction. Um, I bought this book by John Acuff and it's called... Um, finish and in that book he talks about he's a motivational speaker and you can get it on Amazon it's a really good book but he talks about when people start doing something be it most he's talking about business but when they start a business or maybe even exercise whatever the case may be um, it's real easy you know they're motivated the first day or whatever um, but it's easy to 
just get off plan and not finish and it's all about like our mindsets things that we we talk ourselves out of doing things so last week i went on a 10 mile walk with some friends i hadn't done that in a really really long time and i was so glad that i did and i almost wanted to talk myself out of it because i went to six flags the day before and walked around quite a bit and was like so tired but i got up and um like at five something in the morning on sunday and met it met out at white rock late at 6 30 and i had the accountability of somebody that was walking with me so i couldn't talk myself out of it and we had a plan so my friend amelia who put the um walk together this is something that she does regularly she invited uh, people whoever wants to join to join her she had a plan so she knew the direction that we were going to go she knew where all the the clean uh potty stops were along the way um she kept the conversation going and so she and for those of us that hadn't done it um with her before she kept us going you know she um we stayed motivated we talked the whole time and you know before i knew it like we were done 10 miles we walked 10 miles and it took us a little over three hours and i was so proud of myself because i hadn't done that in such a long time um but the lord just reminded me that you know why it worked it's because you stuck with the plan and you had some accountability so i just wanted to encourage you guys this week if there's an area in your life where you're struggling or you haven't been able to reach a certain goal i want you to go back and remember the plan if you didn't have a plan um, initially then that's a good source uh, of the problem so sit down make a plan commit it to the lord you know ask the lord what is his plan you know we make um, our own plans but a lot of times we have to ask god what is the plan that you have for my life what direction um, are you trying to take me because oftentimes his plan is something totally different than we expected our own plan to be i mean you know we were all going into 2020 so excited for the new vision and we were just hype you know coming into 2020 and then COVID happened none of us were prepared for this and no we don't believe that it, it um, came from god but he had a plan to help us refocus and recenter and bring us back to him and so i know a lot of people during this time myself included have grown so much spiritually because we recentered we reconnected with him and we refocused on what it is that he had for us so i just want to encourage you this week to remember your plan to trust god in the plan that he's laid out for you he will not steer you wrong and make sure you have some accountability along the way you know ask god to um, open your eyes to different ones that can hold you accountable so that on the days where you want to give up and you want to just quit they will push you and keep you going the holy spirit will do that um, it's so easy to talk yourself out of doing something that you don't want to do like I have not been to the gym my gym has opened back up but I am usually go to like the classes and that has not opened yet and so I hadn't had anybody holding me accountable so I just wasn't really doing anything besides you know we do family bike rides you know every so often every week um, but aside from that I hadn't really been exercising a whole lot so I'm thankful that I am remembering the plan and I'm using people to hold me accountable. So I hope that encourages you and blesses you this week. And I will see you guys next week for another episode of Let's Be Real. Blessings. Bye-bye.